Is your engine warning you before a breakdown? Your car's electronic coolant temperature ECT sensor is crucial for performance and efficiency. If it fails, your engine could overheat, lose power, or burn more fuel than necessary. Today, I'll break down the 8 warning signs that your ECT sensor is failing, before it costs you thousands in repairs. The ECT sensor monitors your engine's temperature and sends data to the ECU, your car's computer. Based on this data, your vehicle adjusts fuel mixture, ignition timing, and cooling system operations. If the sensor fails, everything goes out of sync, leading to poor performance, overheating, and potential engine failure. Now let's dive into the 8 warning signs of a failing ECT sensor. 1. Check engine light. On a failing ECT sensor often triggers the check engine light. If you see this warning, don't ignore it. A quick diagnostic scan can confirm if the ECT sensor is the culprit. 1. Poor fuel economy. Your car relies on the ECT sensor to optimize fuel usage. If it fails, your engine may assume it's always cold, injecting more fuel than needed. The result? Wasted gas and frequent trips to the pump. 1. Rough idling and misfires. An incorrect temperature reading can cause rough idling, misfires, and hesitation. If your car is running erratically, your ECT sensor could be sending faulty signals to the ECU. 1. Overheating engine. If your engine is overheating, the ECT sensor might not be signaling the cooling system properly. This could lead to severe engine damage if left unchecked. 1. Hard starting or stalling. A failing ECT sensor can disrupt the air fuel mixture, making your engine hard to start, stall unexpectedly, or run rough. 1. Black smoke from exhaust excess fuel from incorrect sensor readings can cause black smoke from your exhaust. This indicates incomplete combustion and potential damage to your catalytic converter. 1. Cooling fan issues. The cooling fan relies on the ECT sensor to activate when needed. If the sensor fails, the fan may not turn on, leading to dangerous overheating. 1. Poor engine performance. If your car feels sluggish, hesitates, or lacks power, a bad ECT sensor might be confusing the ECU, causing incorrect fuel delivery and ignition timing. Ignoring these warning signs could lead to major engine damage. If you notice any of these symptoms, it's time to get your car checked. At Eric Auto Center, we specialize in accurate diagnostics and expert repairs. Our certified technicians will inspect your ECT sensor and ensure your engine runs smoothly. Don't wait until it's too late. Schedule your appointment today. Eric Auto Center, your trusted partner in auto repair. Visit us today. Hello fam, are you looking forward to own your own car or you have been looking for a car on the internet or you want to order a car and it has been a burden, the time is here for you to own your car without stress. GY Trading Company is here to help you get your dream car right to your doorstep. Relax and take a look at some of their cars and when you are done, I'll give you their contacts. Plus eight one nine zero five six four seven seven four zero nine. Contact them now, and your car will be at your doorstep. You how to buy a local used car? Uh, let me put it this way: how to buy a Ghanaian used car? How to check them? Things you have to do. Things you have to inspect what to know and how you can even do about it before you can able to proceed payment so this is a good question coming from a, a subscriber how can you purchase a Ghanaian use a commercial car what are you supposed to check before you buy where to buy and the last but not the least how to maintain it thank you this is a very good question these are the things you have to do and i'm going to show you in this video i'm not going to i mean do anything but demonstrate it in this video so we are going to use this car do we are buying it but i'm still going to i mean show you take you to tour and show you things that you have to check things that you have to do and what not to do when you are purchasing a Ghana used car in fact whether it is a private commercial or whatever these are the basic requirements you have to check